Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the geometric sequence and series. A geometric sequence is a sequence where the ratio between two consecutive terms is constant. Each term is obtained by multiplying a non-zero constant to the preceding term called common ratio. Moreover, the nth term of a geometric sequence is denoted by a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, where a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, and r is the common ratio. Moreover, common ratio is equal to a sub n divided by a sub n minus 1. A sequence is said to be geometric if the operation on the pattern is multiplication or division. Let us take a look at these examples. Determine whether each sequence represents a geometric sequence or not. For the first given, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Looking at the pattern of this sequence, notice that from 2, it became 4, meaning we have added 2. From 4 to 6, we have also added 2. From 6 to 8, we have also added 2. The same thing from 8 to 10, we have also added 2. Notice that the pattern is not multiplication nor division. Therefore, this sequence is not a geometric sequence because it does not have a common ratio. For the second one, we have 100, 50, 25, 25 over 2. From 100 going to 50, we have multiplied by 1 half. From 50 going to 25, we also have multiplied by 1 half. And from 25 going to 25 over 2, we have multiplied it by 1 half. Therefore, this sequence is a geometric sequence with common ratio equal to 1 half. For the next example, we have given the geometric sequence 2, negative 6, 18, negative 54, 162, and so on, we need to determine the 10th and the 11 terms. From the given sequence, notice that the pattern is multiplying by negative 3. 2 times negative 3 will give you negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 3 is positive 18. 18 times negative 3 is negative 54. And negative 54 times negative 3 is 162. With this, we can say that a sub 1 or the first term is equal to 2, which is this one. The common ratio is equal to negative 3 and giving us with the formula for the nth term to be a sub n equals 2 quantity negative 3 raised to n minus 1, where we have substituted 2 to the first term and negative 3 to the r. Using this formula, we can now solve for the 10th term and 11th term of the given geometric sequence. To solve for the 10th term, we need to substitute 10 to the variable n in this formula, giving us with 2 times negative 3 raised to 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1 will give you 9. Negative 3 raised to 9 will give you negative 19,683. Then multiplying it by 2, we will have the 10th term to be negative 39,366. On the other hand, to solve for the 11th term, we need to substitute 11 to the end of the given formula, giving us with 2 times negative 3 raised to 11 minus 1. 11 minus 1 will give us 10. Simplifying negative 3 raised to 10, that will be equal to 59,049. Then multiplying by 2, we will have 118,098. Therefore, the 11th term of the geometric sequence is 118,098. Let us try to solve this problem. The first and the fourth terms of a geometric sequence are 2 
and 16 over 17 respectively. Find the common ratio of the sequence. Solving for the common ratio, remember that we were given the first term which is equal to 2 and the fourth term which is equal to 16 over 17. We can actually use the formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence by substituting the first term and the fourth term on the formula. So we have a sub 4 is actually equal to a sub 1 times r raised to 4 minus 1 since we will be using the fourth term 16 over 17. Note that a sub 4 is equal to 16 over 17 and a sub 1 is equal to 2. So we can replace a sub 4 and a sub 1 in this formula, giving us with 16 over 17 is equal to 2 times r raised to 3 because 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. From this formula, we can now solve for the value of r. Let us divide first both sides by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 will give us r cubed, and 16 over 17 divided by 2 will give us 8 over 27. To get or to find the value of r, we need to get the cube root of both sides of the equation. So, cube root of r cubed is r, and cube root of 8 over 27 is 2 over 3. Therefore, the common ratio of the geometric sequence is 2 over 3. Geometric series is the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. Moreover, we have two formulas for the geometric series to be S sub n equals A sub 1 quantity 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R and S sub infinity equals a sub 1 all over 1 minus r. The first formula is for finite geometric series, meaning there is a definite number of terms in this particular series. On the other hand, the second formula is for infinite geometric series, meaning this is the sum of the terms in an infinite geometric sequence. Having an example, find the sum of the first 10 terms of a geometric sequence if the first term is 1 and the common ratio is 2. From the problem, we can take down note of the following given. The number of terms that we need to add is 10, so therefore, n equals 10. The first term is given to be 1 and the common ratio is given to be 2. Since there is a definite number of terms, which is 10, that we need to add, then meaning we are solving for the finite geometric series. So therefore, we need to use the formula S sub n equals A sub 1 quantity 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R. Substituting A sub 1, R, and n to this formula, we will have S sub 10 is equal to 1 times 1 minus 2 raised to 10 all over 1 minus 2. 2 raised to 10 and 1 minus 2 will give us 1,024 and negative 1 respectively. Solving 1 minus 1,024 will give us negative 1,023. Multiplying this and 1, we gonna have negative 1,023, then divide it by negative 1. Finally, we will have the answer 1,023. Therefore, the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric sequence is 1,023. Another example. Find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence 1, comma, negative 1 half, comma, 1 fourth, comma negative 1 8 comma 1 over 16 since it was specified that it is an infinite geometric sequence then we will be using the formula s sub infinity is equal to a sub 1 over 1 minus r in the given notice that the first term is equal to 1 and the common ratio is equal to negative 1 half because 
From 1 going to negative 1 half, we have multiplied negative 1 half to 1. So, negative 1 half times another negative 1 half is positive 1 fourth. Positive 1 fourth times negative 1 half is negative 1 over 8. And negative 1 over 8 times negative 1 half is positive 1 over 16. Substituting the values of a sub 1 and r to the formula, we're gonna have 1 all over 1 minus negative 1 half. 1 minus negative 1 half is actually equal to 1 plus 1 half. Simplifying the denominator, we will have 1 over 3 halves. Simplifying 1 over 3 halves, we will have 2 over 3. Therefore, the sum of the infinite geometric sequence is 2 over 3. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, we will discuss about the sigma notation. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.